Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. Happy to be seeing my friend again, Brendan Grunewald, who I have not seen in person since early March 2020. How are you, Brendan? Hi, Peter. Nice to see you as well, pretty if not in person. Um, I see that lockdown is not stopping you from advancing Movely Media. Well, you know, um, one silver lining to the pandemic is people are having to discover new ways of uh, working, learning, etc. And video is becoming an essential part of that. Uh, and I believe that's not only to be uh, related to COVID, but that'll be a long-term trend. And certainly we are uh, squirreling away at, uh, at work here uh, during lockdown, makes you more productive probably. But it means that we, um, yes, we're adding a number of new features, but uh, most importantly, those features are client-driven. So our clients are primarily uh, pushing the, for us to develop a number of these features as we, we bring on you know, more and more, particularly clients that are in the corporate enterprise space and education. So things that Movely does that I like. One, you build a template so that even an idiot like me can take that template and upload daily video. It takes about 30 seconds. We stress tested that at PDAC. I think we did like 35 interviews in three days. I think it was close to 80 actually. Wow. Um, I think I did 35. I didn't know about the others. Um, and the, the, the technology works seamlessly. So it gives a company the ability to create a video template and then just upload new content. I like that. I think one of the things that is most, that feature particularly is appreciated by bigger organizations because they have in their headquarters graphic specialists and not everyone in the company is a specialist. So they can leverage the skill set of that media department or their communications team and make really impressive content, but make it as a template so that anyone in the field who can drive a, a mouse and a keyboard can actually customize or, or adapt that uh, and make themselves look like they're the geniuses uh, on that content. So that's certainly a, a feature that our corporate clients particularly like because it means that they can get scale on the, 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 that resource. So I like that. Then about a month ago, you announced that your technology could take old PowerPoint presentations and convert them to video. A lot of PowerPoint presentations are evergreen. The content in them never goes stale. And your technology breathes new life into old PowerPoint. Well, what we're seeing is, you know, PowerPoint, I think, to some degree, has been a great tool for people to put content in over the years. And a lot of companies and educators have uh, you know, amassed a sizable number of PowerPoint presentations in the past. And what they're looking to do is just really make those a little bit more engaging, a little bit more appealing, particularly to the, the younger generation. And, you know, video is, is far more effective than PowerPoint. And so we've developed this deal, you know, it's not a one for shop, uh, one fit all, but what it does do is save hundreds of hours if you want to convert uh, those contents, that content to video, because what it'll do is take all the assets, uh, you know, images, video clips, bullet points, etc., and put e create a, a kind of a video clip for each of the slides so that you save hours of work and then you can go in and add all the nice fancy transitions, sound effects, and have the other things to really make an impressive video um, based on that PowerPoint, which, uh, which uh, you know, you upload it. So it saves a lot of time, and that's the primary value of that uh, of that uh, that feature is again saving hours saving you know effectively the cost of uh, of that time and making a better impact with better media far more impact far more impact and engagement people remember things more um, and they get it and more likely to actually watch the thing uh, and, and pay attention um so the the uh, it's a far better tool i read somewhere that by 2025 80 percent of all information consumed on the internet will be by, be by video. Well, you know, that's a statistic. They have plenty of those. And what we're hoping is that, you know, most of the people who can, they're going to need to make that video. That content has to be made somehow. And we're certainly hoping that Movely is the, 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 the product of choice, uh, whether that's somebody who's capable and starts from a blank canvas themselves and makes something that's exciting, or whether they uh, use a template that we provide or is provided by someone in their organization. So... Those two things are exciting, but based off that, the November 19th press release was fascinating to me. My first degree was in computer science, and I've always been engaged by artificial intelligence, neural nets, the predictive capability 
of that artificial intelligence. And on November 19th, you announced that you're integrating with Google Translation's artificial intelligence systems. So explain that to me, please. Well, we've integrated with both Google and Amazon. Both of those have artificial intelligence uh, packages. And basically what this allows us to do is, one, is transcode a video. So let's assume that we uploaded this video, which we're recording now, into Movely. We could, with a click of a button, automatically produce uh, subtitles with text at the bottom of that this video. So, well, in the language that it's spoken to start with, but then the, the Google translation tool allows you to translate that into one of more than 100 languages. So we're speaking English now. We upload this video into, into, into Movely. We would get an English-based subtitle automatically with a click of a button. We could then translate that English subtitle set into any of the, the variety of languages that are supported. So not only do you have, can you translate uh, next things, things that are transcoded, but any content that's in there uh, you know, can be translated again using these tools. And again, these are tools where we're seeing that a lot of particularly large organizations, they're, they're multinational. And again, they've got a group of people uh, or a number of product specialists or media specialists that are making content, but they need that to be deployed or they need it to be localized you know, in different countries around the world. And so this saves them, again, an enormous amount of time. And I think that really comes back to Movely's key value proposition. That is, we always say we're trying to democratize the ability for everyone to really make high-end content. And this really gives the tools to people to really be able to make content um, with a click of button and uh, several other features so that when you look at the value of a subscription at Movely and you add up, the cost of all the single element softwares you would have to buy, like translation, like transcoding, like screen recording, like green screening, like uh, automated subtitling and things like that, you know, uh, the value proposition is unbeatable. And, and your target market is not mom and pop and single user companies. You're targeting large uh, government offices, the mush industry, um, and, and large multinationals. That would be your target market then. For this particular product uh, features, yes, we have three main user groups out of our, you know, more than three million users, and that is uh, we have, uh, you know, we have the small businesses, which are, are a big number of users for us, who where we save an enormous amount of money versus them go, having to go to an agency or or outsource and have videos made, uh, or, or just not, or just not having the the product at all, right? You you give them the ability to actually have that product. Exactly. And the other area, of course, as you said, is uh, large corporations, and that's where we're seeing a strong growth. Um, uh, plus, obviously, the education market, which has always been, uh, we've seen a lot of users. Cool. What's up next? Well, you know, um, Thanksgiving is just behind, uh, behind us, so uh, I think we're coming up to Christmas. We're working on a number of very interesting features, which we'll announce uh, uh, hopefully in January. And, uh, of course, we continue to work on our three-pronged strategy being e-commerce, our direct sales to corporates, and uh, and our partner strategy, which I think is one which is uh, one which we really are are pleased uh, about, as we um, uh, announced earlier uh, with Content House, uh, work with partners to make our technology kind of an enabler that they can then use uh, to deliver their own services and value to the market. Nice. So Movely Media trading as MVY on the Venture Exchange. We've spent some time with Brendan Grunewald. CEO, look forward to chatting with you again, Brendan. Stay safe. Hello, Peter. Thank you very much. Goodbye from Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. Have a safe day.